What's up, guys? It's Kaiba on the Renegade. Hi. Bye. That was a short episode. I'm playing this time. I don't know why. I tagged him in. Still don't. I don't want to fight slug monsters. You don't have to fight a fight slug monster. I think you can. Yeah. Well, you can. Let me go back there. Okay. We're trying to get to that ninja outfit. I can't call quite how to get to it. But I'm gonna figure it out. I'm not gonna get it. And I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna be, whoa, look at that, I'm a ninja. <laughs> I see a lot. Okay. So you can climb up to it? Yeah, you might have to go lower. Ninja outfit. <laughs> I will have my ninja outfits. My ninja outfit. Your ninja outfit. <laughs> I'm the one who's been an assassin lately. There we go. Okay. There. You up. I mean, oops. I don't need to do that. I'm trying to make this black belly. Why? It's no good. Oh, is that the Katana we built? We got the Latio. Yeah, the Latio doesn't look any good. We already had that other Katana. Where's So the ninja outfit shit. It's a light armor. It's not green. It's mostly for the resist. For the resist and voice resist. Okay. Um what else? I've never really experimented with the uh, katanas, so I'll just fuck around with it on my playthrough. Do you mean while you're playing, or...? Yeah. Hmm. I was gonna say, this is not your playthrough. It wouldn't surprise me if you went back and did a full LP of this yourself. I don't know why it would. I don't know why you wouldn't. <clears throat> why would I really have one? People who have seen everything. The only thing they would see is me going through it slightly faster. And better. Hardly. And not bunch butt clenching. Butt clenching? <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's what you call it when an LPer sucks at a game. It usually happens during blind LPs. Really that only happens if I know the game inside now. Exactly. God damn it, Kyle. Sorry, I don't like light time. It's been a while since you get down here. I forget sometimes. Even I, I know to back up when they're doing that. Yay, bleed attacks. No. You gonna get that item? Whatever. Right next to you. Behind you. I will say, this guy, just don't walk, walk along this path. Anybody that's new to Dark Souls and anybody that's new to Dark Souls and is watching this, you do not 
The one unlocked door is just that. It will just kick you off and you will fall to your demise. We will come back to it in a second. No, mm -hmm. I'm not going to get that item right now. Why? Because it's right there. there's a big guy right around the corner and I don't want to deal with him. Anymore. We're going to go up this ladder, do it with the, the poison dark guy and the squid monster thing. It's not even a squid, it just has tentacles in it. It's a snail squid. It's a, it's a thing. It's a thing and there's only one of them in the game. We'll have to try and target it to look at the name. We don't get a name. We never get a name. Right. We'll figure out it. This is in Legend of Zelda. We have no fairy. <clears throat> this is man country. Well, I remember that you uh, get to see boss names, and that's what I was thinking of. No, right, there's all the fairies. Is that, gonna, is that guy going to take forever to die? Too? Probably. I don't know. We don't really need any uh, purple moss just yet. What is this place? Or this the boy place town? is just part of whatever. Nice. Aww. Good. Now this is how we defeat the uh, tentacle guy. There's more <laughs> The only thing about the katanas um, is that they have a low durability and it's kind of shitty. Durability? Yeah. Aren't you going to switch? Yeah. See, this guy can't attack. Did you miss? Nope. Maybe. I don't know. This guy is kind of... There he is. This guy has a weird life bar. It's kind of hard to see. Anyway. We got a fire spell. Ooh. Power with it. How do we use it? We need to find a pyromancer and get his pyromancer. Oh, okay. We already saved one. We just gotta go back to fire and try and get it. The bleed effect is pretty useful. Fuck! God damn it, Yep. Homeward bone? I can make it. Oh, make it. you didn't make it. Oh well. And Kabini has also died fucking, on Dark Souls. Fucking care. <clears throat> That's okay, I can get back there. Okay. You have time? Yep. Alright. I'm glad I got to see you die in this game. <laughs> Good for you. I hope you feel accomplished. I do. I wonder if that guy's gonna be back now. Which guy? The dark guy. See, he probably didn't come back. actually die. He did. Are you sure? Yes, we got an item from him. Kind of music. Oh, it's epic music. That's the one thing about Dark Souls, it doesn't have any music, it's all kind of just ambiance and silence. Yeah. We could start playing other video game music in the background. That's no fun for me, I can't hear it. I mean, actually physically playing it while we're recording. Yeah, maybe. But our audience might not enjoy that. Maybe not. Of course, we'd keep in the Dark Souls music when it actually shows up, but... 
Audience, ergo, Becca, what do you think? Because she's the only one who watches and comments. Apparently. What do you think? Should we start putting music in these? If so, do you prefer video game music or just random non-copyright music? Because video we, game music would be more fun. Because we're not doing copyrighted music. As much as I would like to play Fire in the Disco. Or High Voltage. Just High Voltage. It's High Voltage. Uh, if copyright wasn't a thing, I would have so much fun with the music. Wouldn't you both? Yay, WWW. That was close. See it. What, you're just gonna leave? I thought you said we don't run past the enemies. We do in this case. Woo! Uh oh. Oh my god, that was close. Jump again. I gotta whip. That's a useless item. But it's fun to have in PvP. Why? Because you get to whip people. Did he just land on you and hurt you? Yep. Hi. Hi. Nice. I love this game. Fucking hell. He, you got you? he got around the corner. Stop it, sir. That's gross. What are my parents gonna think? <laughs> okay. We've made it to the second half of Blight Town. Okay. I'm so happy. It gets a little bit easier. What the fuck is that? A giant mean fly creature. It's slow, not very strong. Nah, 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 nah. God damn it, Cass, you got the fucking Star Wars theme stuck in my head. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> what? No, it's not making me feel better. <laughs> But it's so stuck in my head right now. <laughs> there, I gotta get a little bit of power there. Shit. Damn it, Kyle. Nothing I can do about it. Let's just hope he actually has the fucking antidote. Wait, didn't we already get it? No. So maybe you should. Fucking act. Christ! What does the purple moss clump do? It just cures poison. Ooh, wanderer. So we're gonna end up expending humanity again, huh? Most likely. Sorry, we, we, uh, eat, they're not dropping the fucking blooming purple moths, which is the only way to cure toxin. Will those become blooming purple moths? The blooming purple moths turn into the purple moss clumps. Oh. Not the other way around, sadly. I can try it, but it won't do anything. What? Using those? Oh, reduces poison build up. See, then do shit. What is that? 
This mosquito. You gonna get him? It's stuck in the floor. So now? If I can reach. So yes. Here comes one. It is above the floor. Oh. Anyway, we are out of time. So I'm just gonna wait out here and hope that the poison does not kill him. Yippee. I might be able to reach a bonfire past him. Go. I don't know if we'll make it in this episode or not. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Crab on the Renegade. I'm Mega B. We'll see you next time. Bye.